This week, Danny leaves sunny California after selling our bus with every plan to return back to Michigan. Plus, exactly what rig he returned home in that made us all go. I'm so excited. My God. <laughs> Come to our home. <laughs> After a long night of making sure the bus was set for its new owner, Danny snagged a rental car with every intention of driving it back to Michigan. You see, with the sale of the bus happening so quickly, we didn't have a lot of time to think about a new rig. And being 2,200 miles away from each other didn't make trying to figure something out any easier. We looked a little bit for potential rigs but it all seemed a little too complicated, so we figured we'd wait until Danny got back to Michigan to start discussing it further. Cue all the driving footage through so many different types of weather. Guess who I'm meeting? I'm at Whole Foods. That should give it all away. Until Danny decided to make a quick pit stop in Colorado to meet up with some familiar faces. It's Jenna Charlie. <laughs> and we're the three best friends that anybody could have. We're the three best friends that anyone could have. We're gonna do things all the time together. I left Alyssa's this morning after having a Thanksgiving dinner with a bunch of friends and I've been on the road for, I don't know, Four hours, probably. I am in the middle of Kansas right now. Well, Danny was back on the road and having some close calls. Drive in and I'm like, oh shoot, I haven't checked to see how much fuel I have and I just went through a small town. It's 25 miles, I think, until I'm on empty. Go on my maps and it's like 27 miles to the nearest gas station. I miss my turn by two miles, so I have to turn back. Now I'm like seven miles short on fuel hoping I make it to the gas station. I was back in Michigan looking at an older van at a dealership that had some potential. Okay, Danny told me not to look at this, but I'm doing whatever the hell I want. <laughs> I feel cold to it. Look at that. They said it's open, so I'm just gonna go check it out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that carpet. Says I still have two miles to go. Maybe I'll just make a lap around the block. <laughs> I'm sure Kelsey's rolling her eyes at me right now while she's editing this. <laughs> I am. All right, back on the road. I am heading to Nebraska. The van in Michigan wasn't quite what we were looking for, but as luck would have it, Danny found something else on Facebook Marketplace that was conveniently in a state he was already driving through. And aside from the bus, this was a vehicle I've always wanted ever since I found out that they existed. Check out this rig. I think this might be the one. First, I'd like to note that we are a bit hypocritical. This summer, we filmed a van bus swap with our friends Josh and Lydia, and it went like this. This is the last night in our bus. Moving out. It's a lot of bus life. It's been real. Moving on to van life. What do you think of your new home, honey? Perfect. Oh, shit. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Well, we got stuff flying everywhere, folks. Hey, Josh, can I borrow your fridge space? <laughs> and we walked away from it like... So, all in all, would we ever give up our bus to live in a van? No. <laughs> Not right now. <laughs> I guess you could say that time, navigating bus life on the West Coast, and the god-awful price of gas may change your mind about some things. And listening to when your intuition is telling you, maybe it's time for a change. All right, we are 11 minutes away from checking out a rig. My heart rate's starting to go up, and 
I'm getting pretty excited. So I really hope this one works out because I am in Nebraska now and we might be driving the new rig back to Michigan instead of the rental car back to Michigan. Well, <laughs> it happened. We're the new owners of a 1991 Astro Tiger pop top. Check this thing out. Walking away, your words are lost on me. It's taking everything not to turn around. Throw it away. The Astro Tiger. A rare breed from our research. According to a quick Google search, only about 900 or so were made originally. Now, there are still tigers being made today, but since the Astro has been discontinued, these vehicles can be pretty hard to find. So once we found one that was for sale, we called the owners ASAP to let them know that we were interested. And if we weren't the ones to get it, there were people flying out of state to get their hands on this one. All right, well, the van is mine. Just left the house. Super nice couple calling me family by the end of it and telling me to uh, come back and go fishing with them if I'm ever in the area. Now, let the breakdowns begin. Michigan, here we come. One hour later. Bad oil leak, not good. He's saying um, it looks like there might be some oil lines loose, so hopefully that's all it is. Well, there it was, breakdown number one. It wasn't quite a breakdown, but it was stressful. Car started to overheat, a lot of oil coming out of the bottom of the car. It ended up being just those two uh, oil lines that go to the oil filter. Then we burped the coolant line, got the air out of it. Now I'm just hoping and watching the temperature gauge because I just want to drive all night and get home. I have been living in a rental car, living in this thing, which is a disaster because I have all my shit in here and the two dogs. And I'm just ready to be home. Well, the good news is the car is running well, the van, and the oil's still leaking, but it's not, it's fine. It'll make it home. Um, I just keep checking it periodically. Uh, but now I'm stuck in Chicago traffic. Look at this. The day after Danny came home, we were quick to show our friends and family our new rig. They were equal parts confused and excited for us. I'm so excited. Look at how clean it is. It's so clean. To our home. Oh my god. Oh my god, I love it. Oh my god. Look at ya. Can't take you take me for a ride? I will take you for a ride. Today is a day that I will affectionately call day zero. This is my favorite part of the build process and probably Danny's least favorite. This is the day that we are going to be planning out everything that we want to do to the tiger, layout, design choices, mechanical upgrades we need to make, and getting everything ordered because Danny is putting us on a two week timeline. Why? I'm not really sure, the man loves a deadline, but we are hoping to get down to Baja by the new year so we can travel with our friends, Jen and Charlie, and maybe visit a few friends for the Christmas holidays. So we're on a very tight deadline. I don't make decisions very quickly, I'm a little stressed about it, 
and Danny gets sidetracked often. So we will see how well this actually goes. We can only hope for the best. It's time for another build. After a good planning session, it was time to get the day started. And so it begins. We are working on the bus for the first time since we've had it. I just got back from Diesel Don's. He's a mechanic. He kind of showed me all the things that I should do to it. And so we're going to get started uh, tearing this thing apart, changing out spark plugs, wires, distributor, distributor cap, all those things that old cars need replaced on them. Here we go. The first thing to take care of was any immediate mechanical things that needed our attention. New air filters in. Check. The battery is reconnected, oil filters on, oil lines are connected to it. Now it's time to check the oil, make sure we're full, then we should be heading to Muffler Man. Well that, friends, is success. We're gonna get started on the inside. So we figured before we got too much into the demo process, we would give you a little tour of what the inside looks like right now. Welcome to the inside. We've got a couch area here that converts into a bed area. There's storage underneath here as well. Shower and toilet area that we will not be keeping. Small kitchen area with dorm size fridge, double sink, and propane stove. And then small upper cabinet sections here, as well as two spots for storage here. And then this whole upper portion is for a bed as well. The canvas also opens up for the light, the clear layer, and the screen layer on both sides. And that's it for a short little tour. It is day one of reno. I will be clearing out all of the cabinet faces, the mattress, topper, anything that I can basically take out of the bus so that we can get to some demo, painting, and kind of seeing what we've got for the bones of this thing. I'm really excited this time around to be a bigger part of the build process. With the bus, I continue to work full time, so I wasn't involved as much, and this time, I really want to do as much as I can. That's better. Feel the testosterone already. I know nothing about the tool <laughs> or any tricks of the trade, but Danny taught me this thing to keep all your screws intact. Painter's tape, little tool ASMR. Tape all your screws that go to a certain part. Just like that, you fold it and tape it to your actual part. And gonna label it. I'm like, trade. Maybe I'm just not pushing in hard enough? Yeah, these are tough ones. You're saying that just to be nice? Oh. 
with the carpet gone and my skills and knowledge of tools reaching a new level, there was no other obvious form of self-identification then. Was that satisfying? Hi, I'm Chuck Cassidy, and on today's episode of This Old Van... Babe, you're not Chuck Cassidy. Yes, I am. The car hurt. Yeah. Look at this tool belt. Tool du jour. The day. This thing. Kelsey, that's... that's not how that works. All jokes aside, we're really looking forward to seeing what this van will become. Do, you have a sh do we have a shop back in here, in the garage? Um, I had one. We're putting our time, energy, and focus on renewing this old girl to her former charm with a bit of a twist. Kelsey is loving the demo, so we're gonna see if she wants to pry up the tax strip. <laughs> do you wanna pry up the tax stripping, or you want me to do that? Um, yeah, let me give it a shot. Look at you, getting all involved here. We can't wait for what's to come with this build series. See you soon. Bye fam.